Hey everybody, in this video, I wanna show you how to create that double sloped roof. So what I have is I have just the basic outline of the walls. I know the walls don't look exactly like this. It has like a little L-shaped thing going on over here, but um, just to make life easier, I just kind of made a rectangle here. But the overall dimensions of the width and the, the length are, are the same. So in order to create that double slope roof thingy majiggy, what we want to do is we want to go up to roof and I'm going to click on roof by footprint. And then I'm going to make sure my overhang is 18 inches. 18 inches. Press enter. For, for the sides here, I don't want to slope on those. So I'm going to uncheck define slope. And I'm going to make sure that I have my rafter cut as two cut square. And then my base level is going to be the roof. I already have that set up. So I'm going to make sure I have pick wall selected. So now I'm just going to select these walls. So this side and this side should not have defined slope checked. Now for the back wall, I'm going to check define slope. And I want to select this back wall. I want this to be not 9, 12, but 10, 12. And then I'm going to make another line here in front. Just I'm going to use the line tool here just to draw a line. Going straight across, I'm going to make sure this as well is also 10, 12. Not 109, 10, 12, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to square these corners off. And now what I want to do is I'm going to dimension from this back line to the front. So if I want that to, I want that to be 23 feet, six inches. That's what I found out. And then if I select the check mark, I think I have everything set up like I want to hit the check mark. And then if I look at my assigned elevation, let's say west elevation. Okay, we'll go with that. So this is kind of that back part that slopes up real high. And then what we want to do is make sure that from the peak of this roof to this back wall, that's 12 feet. And it is, so that's 12 feet. That's what we want. So we're good to go there on that one. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to my first floor and I'm going to create another roof by footprint. Again, the same overhang, um, defined slope, not checked for the sides, square cut, two cut square, yeah, yeah. Um, the base level is not the first floor, but the roof. And I got my pick wall selected. I got my overhang. I'm going to um, select the two side walls here and here. I'm gonna check to find slope. Now this one is gonna have a slope of 412. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna change this to 412 slope because it just barely slopes up a little bit, like so. Then I'm gonna draw a line from the back somewhere across and hit the escape key a couple of times. Now this line is not gonna be sloped, so I'm gonna uncheck the defined slope for it. I'm going to score these corners off like so. So yeah, only this front, this front yeah, line has a, a slope of 412. The others do not. I'm gonna hit the check mark here and then go to my 3D view, which is right here. So you can kind of see if I looked at the side here. Let me look at back at my west elevation. You can kind of see we need to extend this smaller, lower roof to where it smacks into this one. So to do that, let me click on my 3D view again. What I want to do is I am going to select the roof, the bottom roof here. And then where you see up in the geometry, you see the little icon for join on join slash unjoin roof. I'm going to select it. And I, I want to select the edge of this lower roof here. So that one. 
And then I select the face of this surface here. So now that's going to extend that roof all the way until it meets this kind of larger sloped roof. So now what we want to do is we want to get rid of this, this piece that kind of is tucked underneath this slope here. So to do that, I'm going to go to architecture. I want to go to where you see the opening and click on dormer. And then I want to select this big tall roof here because that's the roof that we want to have some stuff deleted from. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to select this other roof here. And then I'm going to hit the check mark, the green check mark. And so that kind of makes that roof underneath disappear. But now we still have like a little slice piece here. So we want to join those together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to architecture. No, that's not what I'm doing. I must select this one of the roofs here. And now that'll give me my geometry here. So I can, where you see join here, I'm going to select the join geometry. And I'm just going to select both of these roofs. So one, two, and now you can kind of see that they kind of combine together. So then what we need to do is we got a big hole right here where our, our walls doesn't extend up to the roof. So to do that, I'm going to hit escape a couple of times to get out of this command. I'm going to select the, now I'm going to select the, the wall. And then where you see attach top base, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to pick the roof here. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to select this kind of wall here again, attach top base. I'm going to select this roof here. And you can see that now that that wall kind of goes all the way up. We're missing a little piece here. Let me let me do the shaded view so you can see. So we're missing a little gobbledygook piece. So I'm going to select this kind of back wall here. Again, attach top base. Select that. Now you could select all the walls at once and extend them up. But, you know, I like to do things the more difficult way. So the 3D view. If I go around each side, make sure that they're all going up. I may turn on my little shaded thing so you can kind of see that if there's any openings we need. So I'm going to select this wall, attach top base, select the roof. Again, I'm going to select the wall, attach top base. And again, we're missing like a little smidgen piece here. Select that little piece. Attach top base, there we go. Do we have it in the back? I think we're good in the back. So yeah, like I said, I don't have any doors or windows in this wall, but I just want to kind of show you how to create that kind of double slope fancy roof. So that's that looks really good, yeah. So that that's kind of how you create it. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but you know, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. All right, so hope that helped, and uh, peace out.